Hi folks, welcome back. This video is going to be on cooling systems. Going to be cooling systems and snow machines, foilers. Um, it could be from a chainsaw, from a weed whacker, basically any, any kind of small engine. A lot of these machines are cooled using air. The way it works on it is on the flywheel, there are fins on the flywheel. So when the engine is turning, it's cutting the air and it's forcing the air through these, sh these shrouds going across the fins. The cylinders are in here and that's why they have the big fins on them. That's what helps to cool because then the air goes across those fins. Again, it's, it's directed by these shrouds, by these steel pieces of, of sheet metal and then goes out the um, out on the other side. Keep in mind then that this cylinder is going to run hotter than this cylinder. So again, this, this cylinder is going to be jetted a little um, fatter, what they call it. In other words, it's going to have a little more gas than this one. So again, it's just air moving through the fins, cooling the engine. And again, the, the flywheel has the fins on it that is, that is forcing the air to move. The other style, another style is a liquid cooled. So you'd have, here are the two, here are two cylinders, here's a crankcase. You have a pump changing displacement, and a lot of them have rubber, actually, or a neoprene that, that is used in the pump. And again, as it turns, what it does is it changes the volume. It starts at a certain volume, and because of the way it's offset, when it turns, it, it decreases that volume, and it forces the liquid to move. Again, the liquids, you can't just put water in it. You've got to have glycol or antifreeze. And what that's for is to keep it from freezing. And one of the things that fascinated me is I remember got thinking about the, the engine stuff is why would you have a system that's pressurized and if you get a leak, then the liquid and the liquid in other words, the antifreeze in the water is going to want to go in, into the oil in the crankcase. And I thought, hmm, I don't know that. Well, I figured it out since then. The reason that the system is pressurized, it normally about 15 pounds per square inch is because when it's pressurized, what it does is it increases the boiling temp. So instead of having this boil at 212 degrees like water does, okay, it could go away, you know, go up to like 260 degrees Fahrenheit because of the antifreeze and the pressure. The pressure keeps it from, from boiling. Here's the pump, and it would pump, pump the, the liquid through the crankcase through the uh, through the ports the holes that are in the the cylinders and then come out the other side and then some of them have radiators and some some of them like the foilers and stuff will even have a, a fan inside here right you'll hear your fan kick on to help move air through the radiator cool it off okay and, and or they might have the heat exchangers. And most of the time the heat exchangers, like on the snow machines, are up under the, under the tunnel, above the track. So again, as you're going, then the, the liquid-cooled machines are dependent on snow hitting the heat exchanger and cooling the liquid. In other words, my, my machine likes to run a little hot. It kind of bugs me, but it, it's, uh, it could use a fan in it or a radiator. So again, remember, this is a closed system, which means it just keeps circulating. Keep circulating. So again, a simple overview of the cooling system, uh, air cooling system that uses uh, uh, fins like a fan. The old Arty Cats uh, that I have, uh, actually I have an old Arty Cat that I use at home. It actually has a fan with a belt. So again, the crankcase or crankshaft is used and it has a belt attached to it and it actually turns a fan. Different ways of cooling things with the air. I remember the old snow machines, they actually had the, the cylinders just stuck right out of the hood. And that's how they cooled. Now you actually had to be moving to get it to work. And then the, the liquid cooled systems. Um, again, some of the snow machines have radiators. They all have heat exchangers. Again, it's circulating a water and antifreeze mix. And it's a, ooh, it's a closed loop. And it just keeps going around and around and around. You have a thermostat that will open and close once the, the water and antifreeze gets hot. It'll open up and then the... Um, It'll flow it through the whole circuit. Before the thermostat opens, it'll, it'll run it through the engine. Okay, and then once it gets hot enough, then, then it'll run it through the, the rest of the circuit. 